three, we're going to round these guys to the nearest thousand. And first of all, we're going to write out some thousands. Okay? So, if you're looking at numbers that are in fact thousands, you're talking about 1,000, 2,000, right? 3,000, 4,000. These are thousands. And what's common about thousands is that they have a zero in the unit spot, they have a zero in the ten spot, and they also have a zero in the hundred spot. A number that is a thousand has a zero in the unit spot, zero in the ten spot, and a zero in the hundred spot. And then they have any digit here, and then that could also be zero. But as long as it has three zeros at the end, it's a multiple of one thousand. And so we have five thousand, and so on. Now, isn't there also such a thing as, well, there's also such a thing as 9,000, but what comes after 9,000? 10,000, right? Okay, and then you have 11,000, and so on. Now, there's also such a thing as, um, you know, 100,000. Have you ever seen that, 100,000? This is also a multiple of 1,000. And the reason is because it has a zero in the units, tens, and the hundred spot. Same with 10,000. That has a zero in each spot. Even though there's more zeros afterwards, as long as it has, you know, three, a zero here, here, and here, it means it's a multiple of 1,000, right? So we'll bear that in mind as we round these guys. So basically, if you're rounding 4,531 to the nearest thousand, which number, which multiple of a thousand is this nearest to? Is it nearest to three thousand, four thousand, five thousand, or what? This is approximately, or it's closest to which multiple of a thousand? Is it closest to four thousand? Or is it in fact closer to five thousand? Right? Because of the 31 here especially, I mean, this is obviously closer to 5,000, isn't it? So when we're rounding to the nearest 1,000, we're rounding to this spot here. This is the 1,000 spot. And the digit after that was a 5. And you can forget about everything else. You don't even have to look at that. So you're simply rounding 45. See that? Now, do you round up or down? 45 rounds up to 50. Okay? And then you just plug in the zeros and you're done. So how about 8,400? What is that round to? You've got a round to the nearest thousand. What do you get? The next digit is a four. So do you round up or down? Round down. And again, you can just forget about everything else. You're just rounding 84. Does 84 round up or does 84 round down? It rounds down, doesn't it, to 80, right? and then you just stick in zeros here and that's that so that's approximately 8,000 how about 31,582 round this guy to the nearest thousand have you got it? this is the thousand that we have a one in the thousand spot we have a five in the hundred spot right? So, all we have to think about is, look, I'm rounding 15, <laughs> you know? Like, you can just forget about everything else. Now, does that round up or down? 15 will round up. It'll round up to give what? It'll round up to give 20, right? So, right here, we just stick 20. See that? So we have zeros here, of course, and then you put the three there. So it's approximately equal to thirty-two thousand, and, and that's the answer. It has a, you know it has a zero in the hundreds, tens, and unit spot, right? How about nine hundred eighty-one? How do you round this guy? Well, you've got to round up to the nearest thousand. There's nothing in the thousand spot. If you want, you can stick a zero there because 981 is the same thing as 0981. Funny enough. Okay. Now, are you, the next digit is a nine. Do you round up or down? 
you round up. And so if I add up, I gotta add a one on here and that becomes one, one and zero is one. So in, in any case, nine rounds up to 10, let's say. See that? So we get 1,000. Do this one by yourself. Round 583 to the nearest thousand. It's like saying, you know, which of these thousand numbers is that nearest to? 1,000, 2,000, 3,000? It's nearest to 1,000. And the five rounds up to 10, basically. So we get 1,000, right? So what about this number here? 409,908. Now would you round this guy to the nearest thousand? So first of all, mark, um, you know, where is, which digit is the thousand digit in this number? Let's go through them. We've got ones or units, right? Tens. What's next? Hundreds. Thousands. Ten thousands. Hundred thousands, right? So, the thousand digit is this guy, right? So we're going to round to this place, and the next number is a nine, right? So do we round up or down? Round up, right? So um, if you round up, then we gotta add one on here, and the one and nine, uh, it gives uh, a 10 basically, right? So basically you're adding, you're rounding up and the 9 becomes a 10. See that? That 9 there becomes a 10. And so everything else, uh, of course this is uh, zeroed out here, this all becomes zero and of course the 4 stays there. So 409,908 and if you think about it if somebody says that a that a huge house costs this amount of money, you you probably you could round that in your head to well four hundred ten thousand, right? Does that make sense? Do these numbers look like look, looks like the right answer, right? Okay, what about a enormous uh, uh, piece of land costs three million eight hundred seventy nine thousand five hundred forty one dollars? Round this to the nearest thousand. Round this nearest thousand price for a piece of big piece of land, right? So where is the thousand place in this number? It's here, right? And what digit comes after that? Five, right? So do we round up or down? We've got to round. It, we've got basically 95 there. So we round up. Okay, and so you know you get a zero here, and that and you add a one on to the nine, right? And so basically becomes ten, right? So if that becomes ten, then you got zero here, and you got to add one on to here, right? Or you can just think, look, I'm adding one to 79, and that gives. What's 79 plus 1? 80, right? So in any case, a 1 transfers over to the 7 and you end up with 8, right? So everything else uh, here stays the same course. And um, this is zeroed out. So the piece of land you could say is approximately 3,880,000. So you don't have to say all of these digits, right? Um, how about this guy? Round this to the nearest thousand. Press pause if you need more time. Round this guy to the nearest thousand. So in the thousand spot we have this digit here, nine, right? After that is a 4. Do I round up or down? 94 rounds up or down. Oh, it just rounds down to 90, right? 
94 rounds down to 90. And of course these are zeros and the rest is the same. So if a big piece of land cost $4,209,498, you could round that to $4,209, right?